Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a really cool walk cycle animation in PowerPoint, which isn't too hard to learn, so let's get right into it to learn how to do it. So what we're going to do is you just want to search up on Google something like walk cycle PNG or something like that, just to get a good picture of a walk cycle um, in all the stages. If you want to make your own custom, um, your own custom character um, in PowerPoint and rig it. I'll be making a few future videos on that in the next videos on that in the next few weeks. So watch out for those if you want to um, learn to make your own custom animations with that. But right now we're just going to find one online, which won't be too hard to do. And with that, let's get right into setting up the animation. So just copy that in, and we can just change the layout to blank. Then go to picture format, and then we're going to crop it so that we get, so that we get eight of these um, characters cropped. So uh, what's useful is that you can actually um, crop it so you can see it snaps to the middle there um, with that red dotted line and then just um, crop it like that okay so and then we're just gonna go Control c to copy it um, and then Control v to paste it one two v to paste it one two three four five six seven eight uh, seven we just need seven actually because there's already the one at the start and there's eight poses so we're just gonna crop each one but before we do that we're just gonna go align the left line top and then what we're going to do now I'll just run you through the second one and then you can do it yourself section pane just so that we can hide the rest of them um, so we're just going to call the first one um, contact one so this is just jargon for um, when you animate stuff so there'll be the contact there'll be the um, the recoil action etc um, but it won't be too hard because it's got that it right at the top um, and we can do that later anyway uh, back to the selection pane then we can hide everything apart from the second one because that's what we're going to be focusing on next and what we're going to do is just pull this over until it snaps to the middle there so that's a good pose right there um, and and again you can just snap this once you're done you can unhide that the previous one and just make sure that it snaps so you can just hide this and just check yes that works um, so I'm just gonna leave you to do the rest um, and while, while I'm doing the rest, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone else um, who's been giving me a lot of feedback, um, which has been really helpful. For example, with my sound setup, I don't really pay much attention to my sound. Um, so thank you to Creative PowerPoint who gave me some ideas to help with my sound quality. So hopefully it's a bit better now. Um, uh, and, and also um, just for my returning viewers or you um, who will be watching my content, later um just make sure to stick right until the end of the video where i will have a question for you which you can comment below which will help input um for my future videos um anyway we're going to continue doing this and i'll speed up the rest of the process Okay, so I'm done with um, cropping all the pictures and let me just unhide all of them in the selection pane. Uh, so I hope you are too. Um, if you're not, of course you can pause the video and do it yourself and unpause once you're done. Um, and uh, now we can just um, just size up the pictures now and just go line center, line now and just go line center, line middle. And what we can also do is um, just go control G and then do that again so that it's in the middle of our slide. And then go control shift G to ungroup everything. Um, just some shortcuts. Now you can see that there's, it's not really, um, that could cheat by making the background color of the PowerPoint the same color as this, but there's a better way to do that. So if you've seen some of my one minute tutorials um, on my YouTube channel, uh, you'll know that we can actually remove the background of pictures really easily because there's this inbuilt um, thing in PowerPoint which is really cool and all you need to do is go to picture format and then go remove background very simply and just most of it for you and we can edit it by going mark areas to keep or mark areas to remove so I just want to keep the shoe otherwise there's no shoe in it so all the pink stuff uh, is quite self-explanatory so all the pink stuff is what's not going to be in the picture once you get out of this mode so we can click out and then you can see this image on its own is without any background. Um, we can hide any background. 
um, we can hide that and again I'll speed up the rest of the process so that you don't need to listen to me going through it over and over eight times. Um, if you didn't get that you can always um, skip back to see how I did it the first time. Anyway, again I'll see you on the other side once I've done this. Okay, so I'm done with removing all the background, it wasn't too hard, um, especially with this inbuilt fe feature. Um, again, pause the video if you're not done yet, um, and then we'll continue now. Um, so unhide it, um, and we're just going to unhide all of these on, in the selection pane. Um, and we, you can see it's all overlaid, um, which is quite good, we can see that we can see that the beginnings of the, the frames, I guess. Um, and what we want to do is go to animations. Uh, make sure you're selecting all of them using this box select that PowerPoint has and then go up here and this is very important make sure you're pressing add animation instead of doing it in the normal animating tab go to add animation and then add animation and then go disappear so we've got two animations on each one so you can see here each one so you can see here are all the animations and you can get to this by pressing animation pane which is right up here under advanced animation so um, we just want to highlight all of them and then just go with previous and right now um, it's all backwards actually, so we've got the, the last frame at the start and the first frame at the end. that by just going, uh, you just need to do this for the green ones, um, just do that really quickly. And there we go, um, that's all the animations now in order, contact, passing, up, down, etc. And now for the backwards ones, what we're going to do is we're just going to go uh, bring the contact up, red one under a green one. So it should go alternate green, red, green, red, etc. And it should be the same. So it goes contact one, contact one, red, etc. So if I pull that in, you can see that I've got that all good. So now um, this isn't really an animation. You can also delete the last one actually. Um, really an animation. You can also delete the last one actually. Um, and this isn't really an animation right right now because all of the animations are happening instantly all at the same time so if I play it right now you'll see that the anim all, all the stuff just disappears like that like that apart from the last one which is which doesn't have a disappear animation to it so what we want to do is we just want everything apart from the first one so you can do that by holding shift and selecting all of them and then we want to add a delay of 0.25 just click the top arrow here and then now you hold control and unselect the top two that we've selected. So we're now we're, we've got three unselected ones. Now again, click that button, unselect the top two, click the button longer, click the top two, etc. Until we reach the end um, where this is a really good um, animation now. It wasn't actually too hard. So here we go, this is it. And now I'm going to show you how to um, make it um, loop, um, make it um, loop, um, which would be very useful actually. So what we can do is just add the disappear animation to the last one, and then add. So you want to select the contact one up here, and then go add animation appear. Right, so it's coming back at the, right at the end. So we just bring that up, and we're just gonna again then highlight the last two, and then make it a bit longer. So um, there we go, here's the animation, and we can now make this into a GIF, um, which I also have another tutorial on, but I'll put it in here as well. So what we're going to do is just going to go to File, Export, Create Animated GIF, Make Background Transparent, um, and Seconds to Spend on each slide, and then Create GIF, you can change the size. Um, and we're just going to find some better place to put it. Um, let's go to my folder and then just find where you want to put it in and I'm just going to put it in walk cycle you can see I've already had many attempts at recording this to others um, which you can see both um, and we're just I'll just override my previous gif and now um, if I just open up my file explorer and then go where into where I put it um, if I pull this gif in you can see that it actually loops very well. Um, we can pull this over here. And that's a really simple walk cycle animation. Uh, again, if you want to check out want to check out how to rig the animation, check out my um, video, which hopefully I'd have posted by the time you're watching, and hopefully I don't give up on that video. And also how to create your own character animation. Um, also, if you stuck around till the end, you're probably a good return viewer here. So um, the 
question that I wanted to ask you, which you can input in the comments below, just so that I know what you guys know what you guys want, is that I know a lot of 3D software like Blender and I can animate stuff in there. Would you guys want me to make videos um, about that as well? Maybe like once a week um, and PowerPoint will still be my main thing as that's how I animate usually. Um, anyway, just make sure to comment that below and check out my other video and as always, thanks for watching.